How powerful are they in terms of strength? I can knock them from that side. Okay, so organize Bonin. Bonin is replaced with... Yes. In the words of my ancestors, Iwo Jima! We have Iwo Jima! Population's doing well. 54 million. Who has a bigger... Who's in... Let's see. 34. 13. So I have more than the British. Or no, the Brit... Do I have more? No, the British have a little bit more than me. Mexico is the power of the continent, it looks like. That's terrifying. Portugal has secured Brazil's territories down there. Argentina's taken a little bit. British Africa has now been... What the hell is this? I want telephones. Yes, build me the phones. I want the phones now. It's another industrial might that we can get secured into. Boom. Boom. Yeah, the points are starting to get real through there. Okay, I'm thinking... What's their tech? 9 of 30, 10 of 30. So I have them on army and that, so I don't necessarily need to care about that as of right now. I'm going to do revolution and counter-revolution. It's really the problem I'm seeing now. I need to knock them out of great power status. So I'd have to take some of their land and hopefully knock their prestige further back. It really comes down to industry. Their industry is actually semi-decent. Alright, might have to abandon Sockland. Give it to him. I'll be back for you, baby. I know they got nothing out here. Patria region. I'll be back. The ships look like they might lose a little bit, but not enough. Hit Singapore real quick. Drop there, head south immediately. Okay, what I see you guys do is get our boys here after the fight. Pick them up. Head over here, kill this troop off. Now have the advantage even further on them over here. Okay, good job on that, gentlemen. Head over here. 
Ah, uh, the British Empire has joined. Okay, you can head to Singapore. It's going to take them time to get over here. They will have, I think... They don't even have any colonies out here. They'd have to get military access to a bunch of people. I have 15 ironclads ready to go, so we'll see who wins in the end. You want the status quo bite my ass? Head over here. I doubt they'd come in through the east. The chances of them coming in from the east is slim to none. Nobody's built the Panama Canal, so that region's under contest. Yep, that's all the points I have left. Okay, British Sumatra. Wait, there's two islands? Oh, that is. Oh, that's under it too. Okay. That's actually surprising. Uh, what's everybody want? Campaign for safe working conditions? Gerrymandering. for naval decision making. What's their tech at again? 13 of 30. Okay. It really will come down to who has the bigger, who has the more advanced fleet. Not the bigger fleet, but the more advanced fleet. If it was me making this decision, I'm saying my fleet's better. Singapore. I do like this world though. It's very weird that everything's set up the way it is. So we're gonna lose great power status. No! Great power status, I'm a god. Let's see what's that at twenty six Salmarang region. So I said I just don't understand the point in them getting involved in this conflict. They won't have troops anywhere nearby. And if they try to come out this way, I'm assuming the ships are going to take attrition. And whatever attrition they take is at risk of losing their transport vessels. If they lose the transport fleet, then all the guys die on the boat. Samarang region. I'm voting to secure this region, then I can go in and after those remaining powers. Or the last of the, uh, two of these. There we go, consciousness. We're not hitting the home islands. Where the hell are they going to push? I'll just have to keep my eyes open. So one reason, one good reason why I built all that area up. Uh, 
Okay, head back to Tokyo real quick. That's all good. Assembly line be nice. So with that, I think can go for another line of this. Go for the economic stuff real quick. Comes again down to steamer convoys. I just don't have enough being built. That really sucks. Yeah, I'm going to do that because I'm assuming that's a problem I'm dealing with. Act within suffrage. Sure. That's the entire region under my control. We're getting 100% boosts. 38. I mean, that's the region I would like to control, but if they're not going to give me peace, I'm just going to keep pushing east. Um, Sunda region. Eh, I might stop at that, just because there's more, more than that to deal with. Ah, damn, still don't have enough production into that. It looks like, uh, they're suffering the same problem I have, which is neither of us can build in those regions anymore. Um, it's actually kind of funny. Alright, I think what we're going to do real quickly is I'm going to let these things build. I want to see how many points I get, because I think both me and the British Commonwealth are stuck without colonial power right now. And neither of us can build in these. And I'm pretty sure building up the naval bases gives me access to more. Yeah, go ahead and do that. Do yaps. Solomon's. <sighs> Yours is almost done. really coming down to those damn convoys. Alright, just cut back tax even further on that. Upgrade all of those. And so far so good on that. Just did a big factory upgrade in some of my region. Conte is dead. And it does have a steamer shipyard. this it's great we'll establish a protectorate on them so I keep heading east no side is winning this conflict 
the UK cannot reach me, I cannot reach them, and more importantly, the British Commonwealth has no help. It's really what it comes down to, it's just only a matter of time until I get my victory. Like, as of right now, I probably could do... This. Wow, they wouldn't even accept that, are they crazy? They are crazy AI, I love it. Yeah, I think we go for assembly line. As much as I'd like to go down this commerce and get more commerce stuff done, I like the idea of throughput tech going up higher. It means I don't have to deal with much crap. And then, just keep going. I do notice a lot more, though, since I've been playing this mod, that I never go army tech as much. Because I don't have a need for the army as much. Like, usually when I'm doing this, it's more like you're trying to compete with other major powers. So you're forced to, like, go for, like, industrial tech to match what you need. Please say with that, I actually get a huge boost. Then go for time-saving measures. Do that. Commons. Oh, basic school movement. Actually, that actually really worked out in my favor for that. Because with basic schools, that gives me a bigger boost into this. Oh, they did finally attack. Okay, so they are hitting my islands. Alright, I need you guys to head home, pick up the boys in Singapore. I was wondering where they were going to hit. They hit. Alright, you can pick up the fleet. Head north to Pusan. Actually, no, you can pick up the boys in Formosa. French Empire won an alliance. Hey, France, you want to join a fun war with the British? Nah, they won't join. I was going to call them in. I was like, bruh. Bruh. Want to join and have fun? Alright, I need you to drop troops off here. What's their army tech at? I never bothered to check that yet. 1330 versus my 12 of 30. So they have at least one army tech on me. Head here. Pick up our guys here. Do same maneuver. Pick up our guys here. Bring them over here. We have more army troops than they do. I'm gonna go down here. Go here. Yeah, they'll lose that fight. They don't have a troop count for that. And then we hit them where they're weakest. That army will die. Hit them again.
Okay, when iron muzzle loaded artillery in. Okay, good job, men. Resecure the Elm Islands. Okay, successful retakings, head north, retake Tokyo, take this. Are they goddamn crazy? You're madmen. Absolute madmen. I just improved my arty. You guys should be able to head down there and take it out yourself. Absolute madman. Alright, so far so good. We're retaking the whole entirety of our islands. That's all I care about. Although I will say the best part about it being like this is the fact the British are just driving the British Commonwealth further and further into hell because they can't, they're already at 8% war exhaustion. The longer the war goes on and the more I control all the islands, I mean, the better off I am. And we're retaking the Helm Islands to the north. British fleet's here, get it. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. They might drop the troops up. Oh, they died instant. Thank God. Go for army decision making. That'll be a fantastic idea. Secure our old industry. Look, the dill pickle region. Greatest pickle. The ultimate pickle. Okay, just secured another section over here. Like, at some point, I need a piece some point there there needs to be some type of peace treaty coming out i own all the land that is expected of me you're fine Good, 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 good.
British lost so many troops in the in the battle for the home islands. I just can't imagine them wanting to continue this for very much longer. It's like, what's the point? You've lost. You have nothing else to gain out of this. Your enemy literally is beating you back. Up. Oh. 24-15. Those are transport ships. Chase them. Chase them down. Chase them down. Not all of them got out. It's a big chunk of their transport fleet that just got smashed. That gives a huge advantage. Go for combustion engine. Congratulations, Japanese Pacific Fleet. You have successfully devastated the British fleet. Their transport vessels are gone. Head to Hiroshima. Head to Ahsoka. Okay, that should definitely give me an advantage. They just lost another fight. They'd, t they'd be willing to lose for two provinces. That's all I need to see. They're going to fight... For all of it. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> Do not fight a man with nothing to lose. You always will lose. Alright, Nagasaki's secured. I mean, I have all my provinces that I need. Question is, is do I push for the Daily Islands? I, I don't necessarily need them. It'd be nice to have, but it's kind of like, what's the point? Batvia, British Sumatra, require Palenburg region, require Sumerian It's my valid grounds. Press freedom. You may, you shall have it. Can we get the damn steamer convoys already? Yes! Got a little bit. Empire of Mexico. So far, so good. All right. Oh my god, that's a chance. Oh my god, I really want to go after the Spanish. It's only the UK, and I just def destroyed their fleet. Oh god, if we could get... Give me enough to get the rest of their ships out. I'm a happy man. only they could quit becoming a great power, that'd be great. If they, if they got thrown underneath, I could colonize that whole region and never have to care again. Uh, the only thing I didn't get was the Sunda region. Uh, I mean, at this point, I'm okay with that. I mean, we got what we theoretically wanted out of the war. Big chunks of territory. I mean, it all ends up working for us in our favor.
the only thing we missed is the fact that we're getting access to more infamy that I need to not have. Um, but I think I made this an extended episode. I might have made this an hour. I'm probably gonna have to cut it. It's kind of a. It was kind of boring with the war because it's just kind of like you just sit here and wait. But I did the fact that the British had the balls to invade me up here. I give them credit with credit to do. Problem is, is I kind of rocked them after I noticed that was happening. So I do feel sorry for them to an extent. Um, Colonial-wise, it really sucks because I don't have any more colonial power to actually throw into this. If anything, I gave the British Commonwealth more by taking some of their uh, colonies. So it's, it's really a matter of I really need to get more ships built, which I've never had an issue building ships, and I've never had an issue with supplies. So it really is surprising me how bad it is. Although, wow, the... the Russians finally took that. How big is Russia at this point? What the hell is this? Russia has an autonomous western region in freaking Ukraine. That's hilarious. What is happening? Oh my god, that's a thick Prussia. I actually am kind of curious what the world looks like. So Sweden took the other nut. And now there's just the... Yeah. Yeah. Denmark lost, they call it the Flensburg region, but this is theoretically Kiel and Schleswig Holstein. Is anybody taken? Yes, who took that? The French? The French. Anybody take this? The British did. Wow, the British still ended up catching that. Nobody looks like they built the Kiel Canal just yet. Can I theoretically core these guys? No, they're a great power, so I couldn't do it. That sucks. Yeah, so far, this world looks rather weird. The British Ottoman Empire. What? The Imperial State of Iran. <laughs> that, is, that is the funniest looking name I've ever seen in my life. They lost their western regions and spread into India, aka a portion of what appears to be perhaps Pakistan. That's hilarious. The East Indian Republic. Still in control of the board of directors. Then how are you a rep Well, I guess the people keep getting voted in office. I guess theoretically it is a republic, whether you like it or not. Italy's still a jumbled... What the hell is this? Why is Luca and Lombardia the same color? That looks so weird. Ugh. Switzerland, what the hell did you do? They don't... Wait, that's all French Comte? Okay, I have a... I'm, I'm confused. Why is this West Switzerland and this is East Switzerland? I find it hilarious they own, they own Baden. That's hilarious. But the fact that... That is such a weird-looking Switzerland, especially with those states. I'm actually surprised Prussia hasn't secured freaking... That's Poland. That's Danzig. Wait, what? Polish, Lithuania, and just Poland. Can you please kill them? I actually, I've never, I tried playing Prussia over here, I think, before. I, I it was just so slow, and eventually I just got curb stomped by the freaking French, so I got bored. British Canada still a thing. For some reason, none of the AI know to go after Portland. Or not Portland, but go after Oregon. And from my point of view, I can't even get over here, because it says closest naval base. Ah, actually, it says I could theoretically get that. But nobody ever colonizes Oregon. I don't know what's wrong with the game for that. It'd be funny if I could colonize this. Colonize northern Alaska, flick off the Russians and go na 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 na. Hmm. I'm trying to think what else to go for. We have treaty ports. The treaty ports are excellent. I don't necessarily want to go after any other treaty ports in this game. I've ha I have two. Well, actually, no, I theoretically have three Port Arthur, Qingdao, and Formosa. Because Formosa got counted as a treaty port. Um. Theoretically, could go for Siam and take the rest of Malaya. They have two provinces here. So I'm thinking maybe here. Um, securing the rest of Sumatra could probably be a good push. 
Um, Philippines are definitely in the playing field. I definitely want to go for that. I definitely want to go after all the Spanish colonies if possible. Um, I really do have the I have the finances to handle it. That's such a weird thing. 71% tax rate. What the hell? It's such a weird number. But I, I mean we have the we have the numbers game to be able to pull it off. That's the nice thing. Why is the highest I can tax this and the lowest this? I've never seen that before. That's also kind of weird. Uh, I mean, our spending's at exactly where we want it to be. People are getting mad because they want, I think, what was it? Safer working conditions. And I think common school movement's still getting a push. So far, we have almost a 75% literacy rate, so that's going well. Um, I'd kind of like to go for a two per state for the voting. But at the same time, I want to kind of finish this out. I think people really want to get that done. Uh, the trade unions aren't a big thing right now. And the free press isn't something people really are looking for. It looks like everybody's kind of happy with censored press. So it's, it's, it's where really what it comes down to. I want to secure Vietnam. I want to secure... Um, Yeah, I, I want to secure all of this. I want Vietnam on. I want Vietnam with me. I want the rest of Malaya. I want to secure the rest of Sumatra. I want to secure the Philippines. I want to secure the rest of the Pacific Islands over here. I want to form a bastion that nobody can break. And then go kill the Russians for it. Because I want this. Actually, I'm surprised we're not at... Oh, do I not have a core up here? No, I do have cores. Why the hell are we friendly then? I thought when people had cores against each other, they wanted to kill each other. Maybe not. Why are there why are there Turkic people here at 22%? That looks so weird. They they are not forcing people out of their freaking home. They're Eh, I can't see it, but it is there. No, that's Turkish. Where Turkic? That is a weird name. That must be just a native people that live here then. That's weird. Alright, so please like, subscribe, leave a comment down below. We come back, everybody. Hopefully more colonization as we secure this region. Hopefully this region. I want all this region. And this, and this. I want it all. And I'm hopefully going to get a point where I can actually take the freaking colonies down here in Indonesia next. It's a two-way war between me and the Commonwealth. And if they get dropped underneath the status of a secondary power, I have a chance. So I need some people to start making up on this. Actually, wait a minute. Can I upgrade these guys some more? No, not really. I need, I need a couple more nations to like start picking up their game. Spaniards are at 24. Bavaria is at 12. Lombardia is at Lombardia. How are they ranked 8th? They don't even have that much crap. I have more than they do. Hell, even the Ottomans have more land than they do. What the hell are they have it in? Prestige? Industry. Oh my god. That's impressive. Mine's not even that good. Not bad. Alright, so see you guys next time. Thanks.